Hello besties, welcome back to the vlog. My name's Alexis Barber, I'm 22. I work full time in big tech, I live in Brooklyn. I'm also a small content creator and whoa, clearly I just got a new camera. So it's taking some getting used to, but as you can see, if you watch my previous vlogs, which you should anyway, the lighting is just so much better and like I already feel just way more confident in this content so it's thursday night this is gonna be a weekend in my life basically i live in new york city and i am trying to juggle working full-time i work full-time for youtube and also creating content for four different platforms and it's fucking hard i am stressed out little i'm, ge I'm not getting to burnout i'm just in a transition phase so i started this job three weeks ago I was previously in a different role at Google. This new role, I've, I work in the creator space now, so it just feels like I'm either doing my own creation or I'm working on it for other people for like 14 hours a day. And that has been a transition that I just was not expecting to feel, whereas like I like everything I'm doing and I'm still exhausted. And that's a lesson we all have to learn. In order for me to survive, one day per week where I don't, like I'm not obliged to make any content. So. Today is Thursday. I am gonna write out my content, I'm gonna prep everything so that tomorrow all I have to do is create it. I finish all my work at my full-time job. Potentially I was invited to two influencer events tomorrow, both downtown. If I can if I can get to them, then I'm gonna go. If I can't, then I can't, then I'm going to dinner with some friends. Thursday night, I figured I'd show you my shower and hair routine because I just washed my hair yesterday. Um but shower wise i'm about to shower because i'm waiting for my chinese food and my shower is a mess pro tip always put your hair on there and then dry it once it's dry you can clean it a lot more easily but i'm gonna shower i'm gonna use my necessaire obviously and i'm gonna use my exfoliating cream i'm gonna shave so that my legs are smooth for the weekend My food came while I was in the shower and it was just like a whole thing, but skin wise, just want to show you. So I'm obviously breaking out. I genuinely think it's my fucking boyfriend's fault because anytime I'm not with him, like he was gone for a while and my skin was incredible and he has perfect skin. It's not like he's gross or anything. It's just that like, well then once we start like touching faces, I break out. Anyway, I just wash Paula's Choice. Hyaluronic acid. I keep it very simple when I'm breaking out and then I do Murad because Murad is what cleared my skin when I was like 12 and it's what clears my skin now. So I did the Outsmart Acne treatment and the clarifying water gel moisturizer. So like hopefully that'll clear it up. Now I ordered Chinese food for dinner. If you're from St. Louis, you probably know like there's just no other Chinese food. So I ordered sesame chicken with fried rice. I'm about to eat. And so tomorrow I'm gonna show you my morning routine. Firmly believe that a good morning routine starts with a good night routine. Start off, I obviously showered, did my skincare. I'm about to make my to-do list for tomorrow. And I lay out my clothes for the next day. So like my bed is here, this is here. So we immediately get the clothes on. These are all the packages and the stuff for content that I need to film tomorrow. I'm doing a capsule wardrobe thing as well as a bit of sponsored content for QVC. The next part is water. So at night, then I'll fill this all the way up and put it next to my bed. I'm also drinking Gatorade because I'm drinking wine. My water routine goes where I basically like just try to finish one Brita a day. At night, what I do is just Literally that, like I'm not even fucking kidding. And then I sleep with these ones. Silk pillowcase stuff. And then before I go to bed, I'm reading this book right now. It's called Badass Habits by Jen Sincero. Am I a slave to productivity culture? Maybe, but this is actually much better than I thought it was. I was kind of embarrassed buying it, but I really am having trouble building the habit of working out. And that's how I go to bed. Dad, um, my husband and the kids.
Friday morning, I just did my little morning routine. Decided not to go on a walk this morning because I want to get a lot of work done. 7.20 a.m. So for the next two-ish hours, I'm gonna prep content and just go through everything I need to go through. I think I'm gonna sign with a podcast network today, which is really exciting because that will take so much off my plate when it comes to content creation, as much as I love podcasting, it takes a lot of time to edit and I don't think I make the best possible podcast I can make because I'm focused on YouTube videos or I'm focused on Instagram or TikTok or sponsored content. However, the podcast is the fa my favorite thing because I feel like it's the I get the most knowledge from it and it's I'm getting the knowledge from the people that I'm like genuinely so obsessed with. So I don't ever want to stop the podcast and just need help to make it the best it can be. So I'm really excited about that. I have one sponsored content thing to do. And then I'm filming a part of my capsule wardrobe series for TikTok. And for work, I need to write. I'm writing a bunch today, um, doing some creative work. And it's Friday, so I will do, I've talked about this in a vlog before, but on Fridays I like to do three things, which are industry reading, so I'm gonna listen to my podcast, which I'm gonna turn on soon. I fill out my brag book, so like really go through and add everything. I did a lot of networking this week because I was meeting new people in my role, so I wanna make sure that's all documented, like audit my calendar and my projects for next week, so they, like once I close my laptop today, I don't think about work again, which is impossible, because I work in the creator space, so I will think about work all day. I was trying so hard to get this fucking video figured out because my kitchen, the only thing I don't like about my apartment is that my kitchen doesn't really allow for very much like food content because I'm not facing the light and it's just really stressful. But for lunch, I'm gonna make a tomato basil salad. Wanted to show you. So half an avocado because I'm not putting protein in it. <gasps> yeah, I stabbed myself a little bit almost. Some mozzarella. And since this is just gonna be a small salad, I'm gonna cut it up. I've had work all day, and after I eat this, I'm gonna probably go ahead and just start filming. Um, I don't think I'm gonna make it to the influencer events, not because I don't want to, but because I it's gonna rain. So I don't think I'm gonna do anything tonight. I'm just gonna stay home in the storm and get my presentation done. And I'm just cutting up a bunch of little cherry tomatoes. I feel kind of lame though for canceling all of my evening plans because I'm just like, I don't know, I'm not excited by any of it. This is what the salad looks like on its own. And I'm just going to drizzle some of this organic balsamic glaze. Organic, why am I saying that like I'm an organic hoe? I'm not. I like a lot of it. And this is my lunch. So my Friday's taken a turn. As you can probably see, it's gloomy. We are getting a major storm in New York again, which means I personally am not gonna be able to make all the content I wanted to make because of the lighting being bad is one part. The other part is that I had 
of the content I wanted to make and needed to make, even my sponsored content, the product is not all here. And for my video, my capsule wardrobe videos, that product that I ordered is also not here. So what I'm about to do right now, so my Friday is gonna be inside being boring. All my plans are canceled, but I love a Friday where I don't have to do anything, but I do feel anxious because I try to do one day a week I create content and one day a week I edit it. So Sunday, when I'm likely gonna be hungover, I'm gonna have to not only create, but also edit. That's okay, because my week next week is pretty chill in terms of work work, so I can have my like evenings and mornings, I'll be able to edit. I just now have to plan for that. Saturday, the boyfriend and I ordered, ordered Myrtle Bagels, the apartment. It's a disaster. But I always let it be a disaster on the weekends. I'm vlogging, so I'm not gonna show you. Yeah, do you like it? Look, you can flip the thing. Hasn't seen my new camera yet. So, here's my bagel. Like, do you see that? Oh my god, focus. So excited, y'all. My Telfizis got here! Plus a bunch of other packages, which we will review soon. I think I'm gonna unbox my Telfars on TikTok and then I'll show you them. Now, it's a lot of other stuff that we need to unbox. I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna unbox and then I can't decide if I should film a YouTube video right now or not. My issue is just that, like, I feel like I'll be hungover tomorrow. Like, I can't feel old. It's like, to do both is just a lot. Okay. Now, my new makeup brushes. excited for it. She got a whole roll or whatever. Yes, ma'am. Tula sent me some stuff. I love Tula. I'm a Tula ambassador. This is another cleanser. I swear to God, I have so many of these cleansers because it just takes me forever to get through them. But this is their 24 seven moisturizer, which I really miss. Like I use that daily and they're my favorite. And then one of the eye creams, oh, two eye creams. They purchased two of my favorites from Target. I've had these for over a year. And if you watch any of my videos, you know I wear them every single day. Cause they last a while. One of them I spilled coffee on, but I just wanted to show them as an affordable capsule wardrobe option in my TikTok because I actually, you know, love and use them. And these are some teas and tanks that I got for the video. Ready to go, going, but I can't find my ID anywhere. I hate this lipstick. It's so from dinner me and that man it was okay seven out of ten not an iconic time but this is what i wore i couldn't find my passport before we left so that's my only form of id so i'm hoping it's at jeff's if it's not then i'm not going out tonight how do you feel about the vibes <laughs> oh. you deserve it queen Sunday, we have a lot of shit to do. Good morning, my friends. It is Sunday morning. Last night, sorry, I'm by the AC right now. I slept over at Jeff's. I ended up not going to the party after we went out because I was feeling extremely anxious. I have been in a very anxious funk the last few weeks and I just didn't feel like I could be out in a group of people. Plus, I go to bed so early and I knew I was gonna have to get up 
and do so much shit today and my boyfriend didn't and I wanted to make sure he was able to like stay out with his friends without feeling like he had to come back at like midnight for me you know so it's over here being the girlfriend of the year now it's time for the weekly my apartment is a fucking disaster let's take care of it day I only put stuff on the bed when I know I'm gonna wash the sheets so we're gonna wash the sheets Organize the makeup, organize all this, put everything away. Probably the worst situation is the kitchen. I just left out all my spicy mark shit last night. And we gotta get this shit together. We're gonna go to Trader Joe's. Yeah, let's start with laundry. apartment has been the cleaning done plus I rearranged a little bit so as you can see I moved the mirror there these here I'll show you the whole thing once my bed is made and it looks a lot better and so I just uploaded Sunday's YouTube video um, added the thumbnail and everything but I was starving so I wanted to create a little bit of content before that but I didn't so I'm gonna go ahead and get all my groceries and stuff for the week grab some chipotle come back um i'm trying not to be stressed you guys know i took the whole day off yesterday where i was just like chilling with jeff and that was wonderful um but like the timing of like being hungry really was messing with me how many of us really can say that we survived trader joe's and target on a sunday afternoon at 2 p.m not many because it was Fucking off. Everyone and their mother was at Trader Joe's and Target. It stressed me out to the max. I almost had a panic attack. I was like unwell. I couldn't even listen to music because it was just so much. Let's do a haul. We got some shredded kale because I'm probably gonna make kale pasta this week. You know the vibes. The salmon is barbecue cut. So I made a horrible mistake and forgot to order my maid meals this week, which is this meal delivery service and i forgot it so i have to make lunch this week which sucks because it takes so much out of me to do that but i got salmon and i'm gonna make with some rice then i got some frozen stuff as well so i got this um orange chicken which i've never tried and potato fries because tomorrow i think me and jeff are going to make chicken wings and fries i got some pancetta because i think i'm gonna make myself carbonara tonight parmesan to go with it some more frozen hot dogs, I love these. And the frozen rice. And then frozen green beans. Then I also got chicken fried rice. This one is really good from Trader Joe's. Heavy whipping cream for whatever I make. This salad pack, I just got one because it's gonna be cold this week. Peaches, because it's the end of peach season. To put potatoes, because I thought I was going to use them, but I'm not going to anymore. And then finally, an avocado for my lunches and some more of this spray avocado oil. That was so stressful. I know, I look insane, but I can't look good every time that I turn on the vlog camera. So I want to show you the updates I made to the apartment. Um, I just really wasn't liking the original feel of having the mirror on the wall next to the TV. So I'm showing you an update. This is what we are working with. So I moved the bar cart to go here. My new dresser is actually white and it's the exact length of this. So it'll fit perfectly right there with my TV on top. And then it's all about decorating up here. I switched out my lamps and this one doubles as having both. And then over here, pretty much done. Obviously I won't usually have my mic out and stuff so it looks a lot cleaner. 
let the pompous cross over there for a minute and moved the table and chairs over here. The reason I like this is because then I can sit here and journal in the morning. I just feel like when I have light, that's when I'm more likely to sit somewhere. And I also feel like it'll be good because I could film videos from here. So like facing this, you know, and my bed, I brought back out my old Target duvet because it's lighter and my Brooklyn and one is thicker and I cover and it was already covered in this duvet cover. So I kept it and my pillows back there and this i put my dice in there because it wasn't looking good over there but i'll probably still have it there because i use it every night and then i put the mirror over here so this is where my mirror selfies would be basically and this just feels much calmer to me because there's not like conflicting sizes of things there's just one that sticks up as opposed to having like a ton of stuff so once the dresser gets here, I'll continue to update. Okay, so I didn't do podcasts that I wanted to do. I didn't do the TikToks I wanted to do because my creativity wasn't there. And then I had a mental breakdown, took a long shower while listening to an amazing podcast. And I'm gonna show you how I make carbonara, which is my ultimate comfort food. This is what we're working with. Angel hair, garlic, butter, pancetta, which is the most important part. I've used bacon, but this is definitely the best thing. I'm adding shallots, which is not a part of the original recipe. I just have them and I love shallots. And then Parmesan and let's get to it. Almost forgot the most important, which is eggs. Okay, baddies, let's get started with this carbonara recipe. I started by chopping one clove of garlic and one shallot. Um, this is for two people, so that'll give you a good idea of what to make. Then after I chopped up my veggies, I'm not a good chopper, okay? Don't even, don't even play with me. Then I do one egg and one egg yolk, mix that together in a separate bowl with some Parmesan cheese and some black pepper. Um, while you're doing this, you're gonna want your pancetta to cook with your shallots and your garlic. So you're gonna be cooking that in the background while your noodles are boiling. I use angel hair because I like it the best with my carbonara. So that's all happening. And then once your pancetta is set, etc is cooked you're going to take it off the heat and then you're going to add your cooked pasta after it's like done like you know bubbling up and then mix it together as best as you can and once it's not super hot then add the egg mixture so you don't want you want to be it to be obviously warm but you don't want it to scramble your eggs and then it will mix together delicious fabulous you can add parmesan and black pepper on top this is for about two people it was delicious the best one i've ever made thank you so much for watching the vlog. I love you so much and don't forget you are too smart to not love yourself and eat the pasta.